Hey everyone. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, start recording um, a video series on Minecraft. I've been getting a lot of messages in my Discord, uh, just asking for fun ways uh, to learn coding. And uh, yeah, I just thought what would be better than Minecraft. It has a lot to offer in terms of playability. Um, the code base is really easy to learn. Um, so yeah, I could show you how I started my, uh, my path in learning Java. Uh, by making Minecraft mods. Uh, so here we go. First off, uh, there's two APIs. Um, there's Fabric, um, which is this here. You go to fabricmc.net. Uh, and then the second is uh, Forge, um, which is uh, this here. I'm going to just go ahead and use Fabric. Um, so first off, uh, I just like to install it. So what I do here, um, and sometimes there's different versions, uh, but I just use the regular one. So I install it here, and then I find it here, and then I open it. And then it will come up with this page here, and it'll just be a fabric installer. Uh, and you can pick your version. Um, the loader version and where to install it, but I just pick all the default stuff and I click on install And then it will say successfully installed uh, once it's finished you just press ok and close that um, And then uh, you can just go ahead and open your default uh, Minecraft location Here uh, and then you'll see a fabric loader and the version name of the one that you just installed here in your list at the top default and then you can just click play. Take a couple seconds here to load. There we go. All right. So now you've got Fabric loaded alongside uh, the vanilla Minecraft, um, and it's at the uh, newest version here, 1.16.5 here uh, as of today. Um, so yeah, that's how you uh, download the loader. Um, so you can download uh, mods off of uh, CurseForge or other websites. Yeah, so you just go to mods, uh, and then you go and you look around, um, and then you can actually specifically target Fabric mods down here. And uh, all the fabric mods will have this little uh, fabric symbol icon here between all of them. Uh, and then, yeah, you could just go around, download the ones that you like. And then as soon as you go into um, this directory here, this folder, uh, what I just did here is I just uh, typed in uh, percent sign app data percent sign. Um, and then you click enter and it will take you into your app data roaming folder. Um, and this is the default Minecraft location. Um, everything gets put into here. Um, unless you use something like uh, the Twitch launcher or multi MC, they're just different downloaders. Uh, like there's different installation options, like the regular Minecraft launcher, which is the one I'm uh, showing you here. Um, yeah, there's multi MC, uh, there's the AT launcher and you know, all these other ones, Technic, Twitch, uh, which is now the curse launcher. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, so if you go ahead and download a mod that you like, uh, you can uh, just move that into this uh, directory here, uh, .minecraft, go to mods, and then uh, you can see that I've downloaded some already. Uh, and you can just drag and drop uh, the jar files um, right into here, and then, uh, Bam, there you go. Uh, 